Hi. Uh, so today, first I'm going to do a couple of examples and then a few theorems which are important for group theory uh, before moving on to subgroups in the next one. So uh, I'm going to discuss the topic of uh, Cayley's table. So this is basically a, a Cayley's table. Over here you have the binary operation and over here you have elements of your set. So if I have set 1 and 2 and 3, uh, sorry, and uh, 1 and 2, okay. So this is very useful in group theory. So uh, the binary operation is multiplication. So 1 into 1 is 2, 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 1 is 2, and 2 into 2 is 4. So this is the basic idea of a Cayley's table. Uh, what I'm going to define next is uh, uh, addition modulo n. So this is another binary operation which is usually denoted by this. Uh, I hope you can see the n over here. So say if if I have a comma b belonging to my set, say g, then a addition modulo n b basically gives me uh, the remainder when I divide, I say a plus b divided by n, and whatever the remainder it is, it gives me that, which is known as c. So there is a special group defined uh, for this. So it is known as Zn, which is uh, Zn is called the group group under addition. It's the group uh, under addition modulo n. So Zn is basically zero one.
uh, in Bose. This can also be verified for this group. The inverse would, if if my element is J uh, belonging to uh, G, then n minus J would be the inverse. Is the inverse. There is no set proof for this, but it can also be checked by verification. So if I'm claiming that, so I can see that one plus three is equal to zero. And uh, so, and n, n is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3 is the inverse for 1. Similarly, for all the other elements, this, this, will, this will hold. So this is my group of addition modular uh, n, and it's very important in group theory. This is also something as multiplication modular n, but for that I'll define an other uh, type of group, which is called the uh, qn. Yeah, so the group I'm going to define is the UN group, which is basically uh, all the X's uh, such that uh, X is first of all uh, the G sorry, the G C D of X and N is equal to one. And uh, X is less than N. So what G C D X and N is equal to one basically means that they go co prime. That means they don't have any common factors like 3 and 5. They are prime, but like what? Um, 5 and uh, sorry, 10 and 9. Yeah, 10 and 9. 10 and 9 are both prime. So this is 5 and 2 and 3 and 3. So they don't have any common factors. Uh, so I'm going to define uh, u6 is very easy. So u6 is basically 1 and 5. Uh, I could have done other uh, groups as well, but if you have understood addition mode to the this is going to also be easy and you can do u7, u8. So again I will be using the KG table and over here my binary operation is going to be multiplication mode to n. So over there the, the concept of remainder is the same, but over there you should add the elements over here you don't want This is a very, very basic, basic uh, KG table, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 5, 5 into 1 is 5, 5 into 5 is 24 and uh, 24, uh, sorry, it's 25, I'm sorry, my bad. 25 and then uh, 25 divided by 6 is the remainder of 1. So, yeah, that is it. And we can again see that closure, associativity, identity, and the property of the is satisfied. So, this again is a so uh, now I'll be doing some basic theorems uh, regarding group, group theory. So if you're preparing for examination, both theorems and uh, the examples have an equal importance. Uh, theorems test your understanding, whereas the questions basically test your practice. Uh, so theorems. Okay. So my first theorem is going to be that uh, in a group. There is only there is only one identity element. So we had discussed the concept of identity before. So I'm going to show uh, how there is just one identity element, and the whole mechanism is very important because as you move further, the number of proofs we be, which we'll be doing will get more complicated. And uh, but if our basics are strong, we can do it. Okay. So I'll prove this by contradiction. Okay. So I'll say let E comma E dash be the identity elements. Identity elements. Elements in G. So what's given to me? G is a group. Okay. This is important. Uh, so E and E dash be the identity elements of G. So basically, what is our claim? To show E is equal to E dash. If we show for 2, we can show it for 3, for 4, and as many as we like. Okay. So at this beginning of the proof, we must have it very clear where are we heading to and what all do we have given already. Like what what all, what already is given in the question to us. Okay. So uh, 
will show E is equal to E dash. Okay. So this is the solution for the proof. So I said by definition. This is like by definition of identity uh, for all x belonging to G. X into E is equal to E into x is equal to x. Okay. And this, this I call it one. And uh, similarly, uh, by definition of identity, uh, for all x belonging to G, x into E dash is equal to E dash into x is equal to x. This I call it Because we are assuming our E and E dash are identities, it must fulfill the definitions. Okay. So now it's the interesting part. Um, by one, since E dash belongs to G, now E and E dash are members of G, this is very important. Since E dash uh, belongs to G, uh, by using one, this, I have E dash into E is equal to E into E dash is equal to E dash. So I basically substitute E dash for my x. Because E dash is also part of G and for this is for all x, so it, is, it should also satisfy for E dash. Okay, and this is by 5. So by 2. Okay. Now since E belong, belongs to G, I, I substitute E over here in my 2. So I have E into E dash is equal to E dash into E is equal to E. Now this all may look very complicated, but if you just keep in mind that I substitute my E dash over here and my E over here, it won't look complicated at all. Now it can be seen that this and this is very similar. E dash into E is equal to E into E dash. Now over here also I have E dash into E into E into E dash. So basically all this leads to the same result. So I can say by I call this by three. And I call this by 4. So by 3 and 4, E dash into E is equal to E into E dash is equal to E dash which is equal to E. So I could also do this by backward, uh, showing that E is equal to this, is equal to this, and this is equal to E dash, which I guess would be more simpler. So let's see. E is equal to E dash into E. So E is equal to E dash into E. And over here I have E dash into E. Okay? So this one this is the same, which is equal to E into E dash over here. So e equals to E dash. So this is equal to this, and this is the same as this, and this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. So it all follows. So uh, similarly we can Similarly, we can also show that the inverse is uh, unique. Um, I'll leave that to you. That's also very